scleroderma and sclerodactyly. Systemic scleroderma often affects the hands. Sclerodactyly begins with swollen fingers and or toes, which are often so swollen that it becomes difficult to bend them. This phase is sometimes followed by skin thickening and skin hardening. It can eventually lead to hands that are stiffened into a claw and immovable. Sclerodactyly is commonly associated with atrophy of the underlying soft tissues. The initial stage is swelling edema which can last for weeks, months or even years. Often the swelling is intermittent and worse in the morning. It can cause the fingers to look almost sausage-like in appearance with far fewer wrinkles. Skin tightness in the hands can make it impossible to pinch the skin on the fingers. In some people the fingers eventually begin to harden from fibrosis and curl inwards. They may then become frozen in this clawed position which we refer to as sclerodactyly. And this is what sclerodactyly looks like. This is sclerodactyly from the back and this is sclerodactyly from the front. Back and front. Sclerodactyly is just one of the many challenges that can be brought to you by systemic scleroderma. And this presentation has been brought to you by Amanda Thorpe on behalf of the non-profit International Scleroderma Network at sclero.org.